Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists. Ba in Ha the Sham name, Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son, meaning He delivers, He saves, Rakakwadash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone which are the true men of the Lord, which are the true men of Yahweh Bashmashai, whether you can receive it or not. All right? Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, man. Shalom and a Baba Ball. Back at it when it lets through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmashai. Lord willing, this video was edifying. And I'm going to go ahead and start off this lesson with a little backstory, a little testimony. All right? I was out and about, um, you know, and a uh, brother wanted me to call him. You know, but he told me to call him around around a certain time. So once that time came, I called the brother. And when I called the brother, come to find out in the middle of me being on the phone with him, he was talking to another Jake. And the Jake was trying to talk to him about the truth, so to speak, or what that Jake perceives to be the truth. Come to find out. Right. I'm hearing the brother talk to him on the phone and I'm hearing what he's telling the brother, man. And. You know, he said the Jake ended up saying he's from IUIC. OK, and, you know, off rip, I'm like, OK, we already know what's up. Right. You know, call the brother on the phone and off rip the brother. He already in the battlefield. You know, the way you how about had to set it up, too. And it was funny because when I got on the phone, I told the brother put me on speaker, you know, so I could talk to that Jake. You know, right when the brother put me on speaker, I started asking him a couple questions and shit. You know, that Jake started to flee, man. Oh, I got to go. I got to get back to my deliveries and stuff like that. This, that, and the third, man. That Jake ain't want to talk no more, man. You know? But hey, the water y'all about smell shy. Okay? Because, and I want to touch on uh, one thing that this Jake said. He said a lot of different things that were off. You know, but what do you expect? He follows IUIC. Okay? But one thing this Jake said was, oh, we don't call him the name that we call on, which we call in the name Yahweh Shai. They don't call in the name. They call on Christ. They call on Jesus, you know, or whatever. Okay. But they don't call on the true name. And, and, it, and it's funny. This is how you know that they're truly double-minded because you got dudes in their congregation who sometimes use the name Yahweh Shai. So why are they not calling on those names? You know, but they got, they, they, them, them dudes sold out, man. Okay. I'm just sit, put it straight. Now, okay, let's say hypothetically, I'm going to say this. They got a 501c3 charter, man. Okay, so to me, that's selling out because you can't teach certain, you can't teach the full truth when you got a 501c3 charter, man. All right? You know, you, you, in order for you to receive the benefits and the goodies from your 501c3, you have to follow what Esau tells you to do and teach what Esau tells you to teach, man. Okay? And then you got their simple followers. You got the blind leading the blind. And guess what? Both shall fall into a ditch, man. All right. And you got their simple followers pushing their doctrine. But it's false, man. Okay. And the Wadi Yabash Shai, that the brother who was talking to the dude who I'm referring to. Okay. That brother, he's in a no. You know, that brother, he's in the camp. GMS. So that brother, you know, he's not being led astray with the dude's foolishness. But still, imagine if that brother was just a simple minded brother. Just waking up to the fact he is real. That could have been potential, more potential blood on that dude's hands already, man. You know, so the dude, he goes and says a weak argument saying, oh, we don't call on the name because, you know, it's not easy to pronounce. We can't pronounce it. OK, but that's BS, man. OK, because at the end of the day, you know, uh, you got men in other nations calling on the names of Yahweh, Baasham Yahweh Shai, man. And I want to go ahead and shoot proof of that. Okay, and, and the, 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 the elder put the uh, scripture up on the video, Acts 4 and 12. Let's go ahead and get it. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven, meaning all around the world, under heaven, right? Given among men whereby we must be saved. There's only one name, one true name of the Heavenly Father and one true name of His only begotten Son, man. And those are the names you need to call upon for salvation. So let's go ahead and discredit this dude's claim, all right? Which was a weak argument. And you don't call any names because you can't pronounce it. Well, guess what? That means more than likely you're not of the elect. Let's go ahead and get it. Oh. 
okay? So now, I don't speak a lick of the Filipino language, okay? But you could hear it, that the, that the man was teaching the name with much conviction, okay? And much earnest in his spirit. You could tell he was fully convinced that those are the names because they are the names, one. And two, you can hear him saying sometimes how saying the original Hebrew, that those are the names in the original Hebrew. You could hear him saying that. Okay, and this is a lesson that I did about two years ago on one of my other pages, all right? And, um, you know, I remember brothers, this picture was circling around on social media. And this is a message that someone messaged the brother said, hello, my friend, nice meeting you here. I'm glad I found you because you're, it says G-I-D, but it's, they really meant to say you're a God, okay? Because your God is also my God. All right, it says may God, but you know, you got to read it in context. Your God is also my God. I want you to know that many of Filipinos are worship the name of Abba Yahweh, meaning Father Yahweh, and his son Messiah Yahweh Shai. Okay? And the brother wrote back, Shalom, up, meaning peace, brother. Okay? That's good to know, brother. Our people are scattered everywhere. You see? So for you to sit here and say, oh, we don't call them those names because we don't know how to pronounce it. Well, guess what? That's a weak argument because you got people in other nations speaking different languages. They don't speak English, but guess what? They're calling on that name, man. Okay? You got another one right here, another message. Uh, us here in Philippines, we had a group chat of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai believers. We are on pondering daily on his words. Please pray for us. Brothers, so we can disciple the lost sheep. All praises to the Most High Shalom. So you got Israelites all over the world. You got Jake scattered all over the world. And there's some precept right here that I wanted to get. It was actually in my notes. So I'm going to go ahead and read this precept right here. Psalms 19 and 3. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Right. So that's talking about for the true believers, man. This doctrine is going out amongst all four corners of the earth, man. Okay. You got people who know the names of the Lord in all different nations, man, scattered amongst the world, okay? And on top of that, it says their line has gone out, throughout, gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world and them have you set a tabernacle for the sun, meaning what? That this word has been preached throughout all the earth via the internet, man, okay? That's how you're able to get different members of the flock to wake up and come back to the true understanding because it is internet, the unicorn, as the scriptures refer to. You see? So for that dude to sit here and say, and that, that IUIC follower, sit here and say that we don't call the names because we can't pronounce it. Well, guess what? You just really are just, you know, making your own tongue fall upon yourself, pretty much proclaiming that you're not of the elect, man. Okay? Because the elect all over the world are going to have one thing in common. They're all going to call upon the names Yahweh while Yahweh shy, man. Okay? That's of a surety. John 10 and 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me, man. So the true sheep of Yahweh Bashmashai are going to hear the Lord's voice, man. Okay? They're going to know Yahweh Bashmashai's true name. Okay? As it also says in the book of Sirach or Ecclesiastes 17, verse 10, it says, and the elect shall praise his holy name. Okay, so Yahweh Bashmashai's elect is going to praise his holy name. And guess what, man? You got the elect scattered all over the world, man. Calling on the right name. Okay? And we're supposed to call on the Lord's proper name. His name isn't Jesus and his heavenly father's name is not Jehovah. It's not Yeshua. It's not Yahweh. It's not Ahia. It's not Yeshia. Okay? It's not any of that. It's not Jesus. All right? The name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, meaning he is, he exists, he to be. All right. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, meaning he saves, he delivers. Okay. And if you can't receive it, well, guess what? You better do some real soul searching, man. And, and ask the Lord to, to reveal it to you. You know, but you got to come in the right spirit, man. Because if you ain't coming in the right spirit, Lord, not going to reveal these mysteries unto you, man. Wisdom shall not enter into a malicious soul. Okay. But. Guess what? If you heard the breakdowns, you heard the, the truth, you still can't receive it. Lord, just not dealing with you. Simple as that. Okay. 
now, you know, Lord willing, you, you come to that realization because this is our life and this is our death right here. This truth is life or death, man. So if you don't take this truth seriously, then guess what, man? Consider yourself grits. <laughs> like the brother, the beloved brother you want to be saying over here, man. All right, grits, man. Out of there. Finished. Through. Destroyed, man. First Chronicles 16 and 29. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, man. So you're supposed to give him the glory due to his name, man. All right, you got people who speak different languages, man. Okay? And still know it. Still know the name. So you got no excuses, man. All right? That's just a weak argument. That was just an excuse, man. Okay? Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So this gospel. Okay? What's the part of this gospel? The true names, man. Okay? This, this, this gospel has been preached to all the world. So you got people calling on the proper names of the Lord all around the world. Man, you got brothers doing the work of Yahweh Shai, okay, in sign language, man. You got brothers out there speaking in, in German. You got brothers speaking in, in the land of Holland. You know, you got brothers who call on the name of the Lord in Russia, you know, Philippines, okay. You got brothers out there in the islands, in the Caribbean. All right, in Haiti, you know, in Mexico, okay, in Central America, South America, you got people waking up to the true names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. This gospel is being preached into all the ends of the earth, man. And how's that being done? Via the internet and the doctrine of the true men of the Lord scattering abroad, man. But you got niggas out here who are just really the same two thirds coming back in their lot who rejected the Lord in their past life, okay, who will come up with a weak ass argument. That makes sense in their mind saying, oh, we can't pronounce the name, so we don't use that name. Well, guess what, nigga? You probably not of the elect. All right, because it says how the elect shall praise his holy name. Okay? And in order for you to praise the holy name, you got to know it and you got to call upon it. All right? This is Ezekiel. And, and Lord willing, I myself be of the elect. I'm not saying I'm of the elect for sure. But one thing for certain that the Lord has given me the Holy Spirit to receive his name. Okay? Ezekiel and I and I and I know that's the name of the Lord, man. I got plenty of testimonies backing it up. Okay, there have been times where I've been in all different types of circumstances and situations, and I called on the Lord's names, and the Lord delivered me, man. All right, delivered me, man. Okay, from life, from 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 uh, you know, life flashing right before my eyes situations, man. Near death experiences, I called upon the name of Yahweh Shmuelshai, and the Lord delivered me, man. All right, so ain't no doubt in my mind that that's the, that's, that's the true name, okay? You know, I know, I remember one time I got almost got into a car accident where I was driving and I, had, and I ended up swerving out the way because there's a car speeding behind me. And when I was going the speed I was going at, the car in front of me was driving too slow. So I had to move out the way to get away from the car speeding right behind me because I tried to turn into the left lane and that car wanted to speed down right when I wanted to turn into that left lane. Car had a, you know, that dude, whoever was driving had a demon on him. So I swerved out the way and then the car in front of me was still going slow. So I had to swerve back and then my car lost control. I spun out on the expressway car spinning around three times, man. At least three times the car spun around three times, man. And I'm heading south. OK, but when I when the car stopped spinning around. All right. I, I was I, while the car was spinning. I prayed to the Lord, man. I said, yeah, how about Shemel Shai? Izarnia, Izarnia, Izarnia. You know, Babu Kusha, Babu Kusha, Babu Kusha. You know, Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, help me, help me, help me, please, please, please. You know, and right when I finished that prayer, the car stopped spinning around and I was heading south on the expressway. And then when the car stopped spinning, my car was facing north, man. And I was driving backwards, probably about like 50, 60 miles an hour, driving backwards, man. Okay, and the Lord. The angel came down, okay, and moved my car to where my car on its own. I wasn't even controlling the wheel at this point. Okay, all I did was have my hands on the wheel. I wasn't moving the wheel, nothing. The car on its own, because Yahweh Bashem was controlling the car, okay. The car was reversing back. And the car reversed back all the way to the grass area 
at the side of the expressway and the car spun back around and I was facing south again. But when I was facing north, I had traffic coming down towards me, man. You know, a whole traffic of cars coming towards me, man. But when I called upon those names, Yahweh Bashmel Shai delivered me, man. Let me see if I get this precept real quick, man. And, uh, you know, Lord willing, I be of the elect, man. But one thing for certain, I know that those are the names, man. Psalms 34, starting at uh, verse 1. A Psalm of David, when he changed his behavior for Abimelech, who drove him away and he departed. I will bless the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear the and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears they looked unto him and were enlightened and their faces were not ashamed this poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles man and that's exactly what happened and there's plenty of situations where yahweh bashmash has delivered me from situations that i don't even know about man okay you know but i know that the lord has kept me from it, man okay Verse 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them, man. And that's exactly what happened. And when I and when, when the car finally pulled over after it spun out, okay, a car pulled over and checked on me. It was this, it was this man and his wife. And the Jake hopped out, man. And, you know, he opened my door and he was like, you all right, man? I got out. I gave that Jake a hug, man. I was like, man, the water y'all about smell shy. And I just let him know, like, man, you know, it was the Lord. Like, I just gave the glory to the Lord. And he was like, and he was like, man, you know, I was surprised you survived that. I asked him, I was like, how did it look? He's like, bro, it was bad. He was like, I was surprised you survived that. And he said, he said, he said, he said, God got you, bro. After that, right, right before he left me, he looked at me. He said, God got you, bro. And I looked up and I was like, in my mind, I was like, man, all praise to y'all about shy, man. All right. So I know, man. You know, I'm not worried about scoffing ass niggas saying some shit like, oh, we don't, we don't know, we don't know how to pronounce it, so that's not the name we call on. Well, guess what, man? You're just telling me that you're not of the elect when you say something like that, okay? And like I brought out evidence, you got people in other nations calling on those names, man. It's Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore say, thus saith the Lord, power, although I have cast them afar off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come, man. Okay, so we're as little sanctuaries, man. You know, you got people scattered all over the world. Okay, but you got the elect, you have members of the elect scattered all over the world. That's why in Matthew 24, what does it tell you in Matthew 24? Let's get it real quick. Matthew chapter 24, starting at, uh, Verse 30, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with great power, with power and great glory, and he shall send his angels the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other, man. So the elect are scattered all over the world. But like we read earlier, Acts 4 and 12, there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, man. So the elect are all calling on that one name. Little sanctuaries. You don't see mega churches with men calling on the names of Yahweh You know, in truth and spirit and sincerity. Okay, with the right doctrine. Whereas little sanctuaries in comparison to these Christians and these other false philosophies out there, man. That's why the elect are known as the remnant. Small number. Majority of the world did not going to get this truth, man. All right. Scripture say the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, man. This is Baruch chapter 2 starting at verse 29. If you will not hear my voice, surely this great, very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Okay? Yeah. We've been a small number. We just read it. Small sanctuary. We've been scattered, right? For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord their power. For I will give them heart and ears to hear and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Right. Okay. And that is exactly what we're doing now. This prophecy is being fulfilled right before your very eyes. Here I am in the land of my captivity, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. 
And I'm calling upon the name of Yahweh Bashmashai. And the Lord has given us the spirit to remember ourselves. That's why we're waking up, figuring out what tribe we are, figuring out that we're Israelites, figuring out who our forefathers are, man. Figuring out we're not just so-called blacks, Hispanics, or native Indians, man. Or we're not just whatever the fuck type of proverb or byword Esau wants to call us, man. You know, we're Israel, man. And, we, and the Lord has given us the spirit to know his name, man, and to hear his voice, man, and to remember the ways of our fathers, man, and to repent, man, and to call upon him, man, in the land of our captivity, man. Okay? And since they shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord, man. Okay? So guess what, man? These scriptures are being fulfilled, man. All right, this is Acts chapter 2, starting at verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them, e them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Meaning they were able to speak different languages. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Meaning what? You got Israelites who are devout, meaning who serve the Lord with devotion, okay? Who are righteous, you know, under every nation under heaven, man, okay? So does every nation under heaven all speak English? No. But guess what? Every a member of the elect under heaven in every nation, they're all going to call upon the right name.